بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome to your tajweed made easy jazakallah khairan for your patience in waiting for this course if you've been waiting for it that is if you just come on the site and the course is available when we open the site up to the public then subhanallah we had to wait for a couple of about a week for this course as it was in preparation stages so many people had to wait so we do apologize for that Okay, moving on. Uh, on the left hand side in the website you will see in course number three the PDF called Your Tajweed Made Easy. Okay. When you click on that, the document that comes up, subhanAllah, first and foremost I've made uh, I would have tried to make very clear what my intention is, okay? And that you will find on page number one. Then the contents in this booklet, they are on page number two. Number three, there's a bit of a details uh, introduction on page number three. Then there's something that you've seen already, subhanAllah, on page 4 and 5. The alphabet that you should have studied in course number 2. Uh, the front and the back of the alphabet is available on page 4 and 5. The reason why I've included these things inside uh, this document is because in the future we're looking to produce this into a, a booklet that can be taught at madrasas, could be taught with adult courses, etc. So we've included everything, okay? Page number six and page number seven, again, they are Mukharij al Haruf. They are where the letters are coming from and a little bit more detail about the letters in English language, just to give you a little bit of an aid, inshallah, okay? Okay. Lesson number one, we're moving on now, is full mouth letters, okay? Lesson number one is full mouth letters. We have already studied the full mouth letters, but I need to recap and make sure that you have understood this, okay? Tajweed al-Quran, in the alphabet you will have seven full mouth letters, okay? At the top of the page, on page number eight, it says lesson one, full mouth letters. Right, these seven letters will always be read with a full mouth in all states, okay? What I mean by states is whether it's a a, e, u sound, un, in all these, it will always be read full mouth, okay? And what are them seven letters? Kha, sod, mod, ta, dha, ghain, qaf. There's a note underneath it's talking about the letter ra. The reason why I put that there is because uh, some people get a little confused. They are the be all and end all of the seven full mouth letters. There is no addition to that or taken away from that. But sometimes you have to read the raw full mouth, okay? So when you have a, a, a zabr, fatha, the a sound, ra, is full mouth. Or when you have the dhamma, pesh, as in the ru, them two are full mouth, okay? But when they are in the kasra state, the zir, ri, then it is empty mouth. And we'll look at the, the rules of raw a little later, inshallah, in this document, okay? So these are the seven full mouth letters. Raw is not included in that because sometimes it is full mouth and sometime, sometimes it is empty mouth, okay? So moving further down the page, we have khasa, da, ta, da, ghayn, qaf, and certain examples of these. What I'm going to do, inshallah, I'm going to read these out to you, okay? So you know the actual letter that we're focusing on, it is read full mouth, okay? So, okay, first and foremost, I'd like to point your attention actually to the, the notes at the bottom, okay? Remember that even though a kasra, zir, the E sound, okay, comes underneath any full mouth letter, that doesn't mean that it won't be read full mouth. Remember at the top I said in all states, Alif will be read full mouth if it is after a full mouth letter. Okay, that's fine. Like Khalidina, the Alif included, that is a full mouth, okay? The quality of a full mouth will only remain on the full mouth letter. Be careful that the letter before or after the full mouth letter is not pronounced full mouth. So, the Kha, Sa, Da, Ta, Dha, Ghain, Qaf. Like for example, I'll give you an example here now, okay? The word... Khalaqa. Khalaqa. 
You can't say Kha La Qa. You can't say the lam to be full mouth. It's Kha La Qa. The lam is flat, empty mouth, okay? So basically, keeping the full mouth quality only to the full mouth letter, okay? It's very important. What I'm going to do inshallah, I'm going to split this recording into two because I've gone over five minutes and inshallah I will see you in part two of this recording. Jazakallah khairan for your time and patience. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.